Hi, my name is Becky and I'm the chef at Sliced Tomatoes and today I'm going to demo a BC Wild Salmon with Cranberry Compote and we're going to pair that with a roasted acorn squash and a simple garden salad. I'm going to start with the acorn squash because it takes the longest in the oven. This is what an acorn squash looks like. They also come all green so don't be deceived by the color. People are really uncomfortable with squash but it's actually very nice, it's very sweet and it's really easy to prepare. All you want to do is work your way around. You're just going to try cutting it in half. The seeds in the inside, I I don't usually use them. You can clean them and toast them if you want. The next step you have to do is just grab some olive oil and drizzle the top of it a little, rub it in. I prefer to use coarse salt because the flavor is spread better. There's no chemicals in coarse salt either. I only use it for cooking though, not for raw things. And some pepper. And then the last step is I have some diced onion right here and it's mixed with just a little bit of minced garlic and I just put it in the inside of the acorn squash and we're going to flip it over and put it on the pan right here. It's pretty easy. You just go like that. And I'm going to stick this in the oven at 350 to 400 for about 40 minutes until it's soft. I'm going to be making a very basic compote that goes with the fish. So I've just got some dried cranberries, a little bit of brown sugar, probably about a tablespoon. A lot of times people don't associate fruit with salmon, but it actually goes really well. And then some orange juice. Just pour it right in to just cover the cranberries. Put this on the stove top for about 10 minutes at a simmer, and then it's ready to be blended. So I just have a nice filet here. It's wild sockeye salmon, and it's got skin on the back. It's really hard to take off sometimes. It's just a matter of practicing, really, because it's hard to take off the skin and not take a lot of meat with you. This has already been clean. There's no bones in it at all. Basically, you're going to go in at the very end, the skinny part of the filet, cut down so that you just have enough of a piece of skin that you can grab onto it. So it's okay if you get a little bit of meat onto the skin, this very beginning part, because you need a little bit of an anchor. And then you're going to take your knife and you're just going to poke the skin so that you can grab on. So this is kind of like my little piece that I'm going to hold on to the whole time. You want to be gentle because you don't want to cut through the skin. And a lot of times you'll get little bits of skin behind onto the fillet, but that's okay. They can come off easily. So the trick here is you want your knife to be parallel to the cutting board. If you go down at an angle, you're going to cut through the skin. We're going to do like a sawing action like this. I'm holding on and I'm just going to start cutting like this. And there you go. So that's basically all of the salmon left behind. It's not very much and your skin is off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to portion this fillet out. I like doing six ounce pieces of salmon for people. Seems like enough. We're going to add orange to it and just a little bit of a sauce as well. I've got an orange here. I'm just going to cut three slices off. Now with the rest of my orange, I'm going to squeeze it so I can get some juice into this pitcher. And then with the outside, I'm actually going to zest it a little for a little bit of zest into my sauce. And then the last thing we need for our sauce is just a little bit of white wine. I'm going to add about two tablespoons a clove and a bay leaf and I've got my piece of foil already. Take your salmon and just put it right in the foil. The reason I have it in a container like this is because the sauce is going to start dripping around and we don't want it dripping everywhere. We're going to just add a little bit of salt and pepper and just a tad bit of olive oil to keep it from sticking to the bottom of the foil. Take your bay leaf and your clove. It's really just for flavor. I just put it right in the center there. And we're going to take our orange sauce and just pour it right on top of the salmon. And the last step is our orange slices. Just lay it right on top there. And we're going to wrap this all so it's nice and tight. Some of the liquid will leak out. It's just impossible to keep it from leaking out. But most of the flavor will be absorbed by the salmon. And then this just goes in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. There you go. So here's your compote. It's been simmering and see the cranberries are very mushy looking and the liquid has kind of turned a brown. Cool it off a little after it's done simmering. Don't put it directly into your blender or else your blender might crack. Um, so I let it cool for about five minutes and then you can stick it right into your blender. It's just going to be a thick, reddish looking liquid. It's very sweet and it'll go really well on top of our salmon.
For a quick garden salad, we use organic spring mix. It comes pre-washed, it's so easy. Put some toasted almonds in there. Tomato, cucumber, and I have a pre-made dressing here. It's just basically apple cider vinegar, olive oil, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. It's so easy to make dressings from scratch. Basically all you need is some olive oil and some kind of a vinegar or a citrus and some salt and pepper. And then you just toss it right on and then you can just toss your salad. All right, so our food is done. As you can see, the salmon is perfect. Uh, the way you can tell is if it's uh, not a really intense pink under all the oranges there. It's a nice um, done color, um, and it would be a little bit pink still in the middle, which is fine. And then our acorn squash after 40 minutes is coming out of the oven. Still nice and golden. And the way you can tell that it's done so if you just take a knife, poke the skin, and it goes so easily in, that means it's soft all the way through now. So let's plate this up. I made enough food for two people. I'm just going to plate one up. But basically, all you have to do is grab your squash. You're going to flip it right over. Got it all nice and golden, and it's, it's got a nice sweet flavor to it. The salmon, you don't want to use the bay leaf or the clove, but it's added its flavor. Grab a piece, just like that. Then you've got your salad. And don't forget the cranberry compote. It goes just a little bit. You can, I made a lot here. You don't need that much. You just want to drizzle a little bit on your salmon. And that's it. You've got a nice, healthy meal, and it's really easy to make. Now, if you don't have enough time, and you're one of those people that really likes cooking at home, you can order from Sliced Tomatoes. You can receive this meal in a cooler. It keeps for up to 12 hours outdoors or indoors, so we can deliver to your office, to your home. Uh, you get an instruction sheet describing how the meal works, and it's basically all nice and fresh in here. We make everything fresh for you. Here's your acorn squash, your salad, and right down here we've got our salmon and your compote. So if you are ever in a hurry, look us up at slicedtomatoes.ca.